Hi guys, I'm Cheeky MZ and today I'm not wearing a football shirt. But that's because it is unusually hot in Liverpool today. Um, I've got to say, this has been one of the worst summers that I have had in years. One of the coldest summers, in fact. Um, so it is hot today, hence my crop top. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. As you can see on my YouTube channel, I took a little bit of a break from doing GeoGuessr videos and I uploaded two new vlogs instead. So if you haven't seen them already, please make sure to go check them out on my channel. Anyway, today I have picked out a very fun map. Um, it is called All the Weather Spoons, and I thought this would be a good map because I've been living in the UK for nearly three months now, and I've never been to a Weather Spoons, which I am aware is an English institution. I have seen many Weather Spoons um, when I've been walking around, but I still have not eaten there, so I guess I will put that on my bucket list to do at some point. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into today's video and see if I can figure out where these weather spoons are um, and then maybe, perhaps, I will go eat it right after. Let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy watching. Okay people, so let's get into the game. Apparently there are 869 weather spoons on this map, which is insane. I didn't realize there were that many in the UK. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to give myself a 1 minute 30 second timer. Let's see how many weather spoons I can guess. <laughs> okay, ooh, that's a cute weather spoons, isn't it? I honestly just don't really know what you get there. Um, these look, honestly these shops kind of just look like a lot of what's in Liverpool. There's like Betfred, um, we've got a Tesco. Oh, I feel like that's a dead giveaway, isn't it? Peterborough. But where's Peterborough? I feel like it's down south. I don't know. I still feel like I couldn't really tell the difference between the north and the south of England. It honestly, like all the buildings kind of look very similar. I feel like Liverpool and Manchester are slightly different because it's very red brick, right? Like in Liverpool, so many of the buildings are just red brick. But I guess these kind of look like red brick as well. But I feel like I could tell Manchester and Liverpool apart from the rest of the UK. But let's see if we can find Peterborough though. Where's Bournemouth? I am hedging my bets on the fact that it is somewhere down south. Oh, there's Peterborough. It is down south. Oh, I guess it's in the Midlands, isn't it? If it's, if it's like adjacent to Birmingham, then I feel like it's in the Midlands. And I feel like it's got a pretty small city centre. So let's go somewhere near the train station. Whoa, that was good guys, oh my gosh. 600 meters away, brilliant, I'm so happy with that. That is a great way to start off. I see they've got like a Queenscape shopping center here. We have one in Wellington, in the hut. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, let's move on to round number two. If I can get 20k plus for this, you know, I'll be I'll be absolutely thrilled. There's a KFC. I also haven't had KFC either. Apparently it's kind of shit here compared to New Zealand. So I've kind of just stayed away from it. <laughs> I've had to go to Burger King. Hmm. Why do I feel like this is down south again? Like, it kind of feels like it's near the beach for some reason. Like, it feels like there are a few kind of big cities in the UK, but besides that, everything else is like fairly small. You've got like your big cities, London, Birmingham, Manchester, I guess Liverpool, um, Newcastle as well. I don't know, I've not been to Newcastle. But um, besides that, oh, look, Bournemouth Insurance Group. Is it Bournemouth? I know exactly where that is on the map. Um, offices to live. Winton Delicatessen. Okay, cool. Um, let's find Bournemouth. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, Winton. I feel like I saw that on a Sally's sign earlier. We have Sally's in New Zealand. Um, let's go Winton. I think it would be along here. Yes. 
350 metres away. They were much better in the first round. 4,985 points. Oh guys, this is going to be such a good round. <laughs> okay, let's move on to round number three. Okay, I'm really hoping I get Liverpool. Um, this is not Liverpool. What does the sign say? Bromley. I feel like I've heard of Bromley. Clapham. Is that in London? Um, I feel like I have heard of smaller places it's because of their football teams. We've got a Griggs, another English institution. I have had steak bake and I love steak bakes are beautiful. <laughs> um, we've got another KFC. There's actually KFCs everywhere, but that doesn't really appeal to me here. It is a humiliating sight for one of the country's biggest food brands. See London, Lewisham, Lewisham, Woolwich. Okay, I think this is like within the London kind of area. I feel like Clapham somewhere down there. Chatham. Um. Uh, uh, oh God, London's so big. It gives me a bloody headache. Um, especially being there. I was like, oh God. Um, Bromley. Doo -doo -doo. Oh guys sure the, they've got the double the double decker buses the red double decker buses we don't have those in Liverpool um oh Bromley there, 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 there. 5.9 kilometers again not that bad I actually feel like it's gonna be my best round um yes six kilometers oh brilliant Helena guys you can you can tell I've lived here for like Nearly three months. <laughs> Let's move on to round number four. Oh, I hate when it doesn't load, guys. I will say, actually, service in the UK is quite bad. Like, uh, here we go. I never have service. Discover Scotland's treasures. Oh, our body. Woo! Okay, must be Scotland. I've not been up to Scotland. But guys, I really want to go because I am actually Scottish. Get a life, get a proper job. Um, so yeah, I want to go see my roots, I guess. <laughs> so this will be in Edinburgh. Looks very busy, doesn't it? Waverley Mall. What are these like teepee looking things? Um, I have actually like missed the Weatherspoons. I don't know where that was, but this stupid round isn't loading anyway. Whoa, look at that. What is this? It looks like a cathedral. That is stunning. I do love the architecture in the UK. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Um, there was like a, some kind of ride over there. All right. I will stop missing round. Let's go Edinburgh. Boom. 1.3 kilometers. When I tell you this is gonna be my best round ever, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be my best round ever. I've never scored this high before. <laughs> so that's great. Cool, yeah, it was in near the Edinburgh dungeon. That definitely sounds like a kind of touristy thing that I'd do. The Edinburgh dungeon. I will even throw in a romantic meal for two afterwards because every willy needs to spend some time with that special someone. Fun, fun. Oh, there's a Waverly Market. We saw that. JD Witherspoon. What is that? Like a JD Sports Witherspoon? I don't know. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, let's move on to round five. If I bottle it now, I swear to God. <laughs> I feel like it has been fairly easy though, no, like everyone's had like place names on it. Um, oh, this looks maybe a bit more difficult. Where's the Witherspoons here? It kind of just looks like an industrial area. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. Hampton by Hilton. Excuse me, excuse me, where's the Witherspoons? Student, oh, oh, look, is gravity, is that gravity, Max? 
Gravity Active Entertainment. I don't know if they're the same, they must be the same people that do Gravity Max, like here in Liverpool, in Liverpool 1, there's like, there's like a Gravity Max, and it's amazing. <laughs> um, oh, is that, no, that's still the same place. Here, Witherspoon, here we go. Free House. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a Gravity Max. Cool, okay, where is this? Mmm, lovely sunny day. The UK is lovely when it is sunny. I feel like it's just not very often that it's sunny. <laughs> English people love complaining about the weather. Because anyway, it's cold outside! Right. Man, but I know that it's cold outside! <laughs> um, oh god, okay. Oh god. Oakham, Rockingham. I have no clue what that is. I've not heard of that. Oh, I really don't want to mess it up now. Um, Rockingham. I don't have a clue. I'm just gonna go to the Midlands. Oh. I was hoping to get at least above 4,500 for this. That that will really bring my score down. Oh no. <laughs> it was 41 kilometers away, which still wasn't terrible, but I did have no idea where that was. I just plonked because I ran out of time. <laughs> so let's check out the results. Um. We got 23,000, which I'm pretty sure is not my high score. I think my high score is maybe like 24,000 for any one game. Why am I glowing like that? <laughs> and let's see the breakdown. Yeah, the best guess was number two. Number two, uh, which was Bournemouth. I feel like that was an easy one. They were all quite easy because they all had the place names on it. But still, I've not been to like Clapham or Bromley or anything. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm amazed I found Peterborough as well because I don't know, there's so many like little towns in the UK scattered all over the country. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> okay, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this Geogism video. I would really like to get into making another Geogism vlog. I'm just not quite sure how to go about it. I'm thinking of doing a castles one. That would still be really, really cool. I've only seen one castle, Warwick Castle, when I went there, and that was brilliant. But I really would like to go see some more castles around the UK. So I think my next Geogism vlog will be a castle one. I will play a castles map, and then I will go and visit whatever castle perhaps I get the highest, like the closest answer to. I don't think I'll go guess all five because that would just be an insanely, <laughs> insanely tedious vlog. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that, hopefully in the next few weeks. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see more of my content, make sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter account. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Mm -hmm.